Hey there, this is Jamila at Lightspeed again. Thanks for joining me in another quick tutorial. Today we'll be looking at how to manage discount rules. Now from the main menu, once you're logged into the e-commerce, you can head over to Marketing. Once you're in the Marketing menu, you can head over to Discount Rules. Now we can click here to add our first discount rule, or at the top right. You'll get a little pop-up, and this is where you can give your discount rule a name. It's for internal purposes only. And here are all the different types of rules that you can create. Now, most of them are very self-explanatory, and we'll be looking at two different ones today. But if you want to read more about these discount rules, what you can do is close this little floating pop-up, click on Help at the bottom left, and enter our user guide through Go to Help Center. That'll open up in another tab. Now, I'm just going to do a quick search for discount rules. Should be my top hit. There we go. Now in here, this is a guide explaining the basics of discount rules, but then it gets more specific. If I want to set up this specific rule, this rule, etc., all of them are explained right here in more details. You have me for now, so let's close this. And today we're going to create a discount rule that is used very frequently. So in this example, what we're going to be looking at is I want to discount a whole category of products. Let's click and let's save. So here's our newly saved discount rule. Let's start from the top and work our way down here. There's the name that we gave it, the type of discount, which cannot be changed. Enable discount rule. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Stop discount rule is an important feature of these rules to understand. Um, I'm going to explain it in the easiest way possible, but there is written documentation in the user guide. Let's say you create five price rules, and a customer is eligible for all five of them. Now, we certainly don't want to give them, you know, discounts over discounts over discounts. So in the list of discount rules that you've created, uh, it, let's say we have five, they show up one through five. If the customer is eligible for the very first discount rule at the top, that's the only discount rule they'll get thanks to this being turned on. So this is to prevent uh, redundancy of the different discount rules, if I can say it that way. If the customer gets that first discount rule, it'll stop all the other rules from being applied to that customer's invoice. So if you have different types of discounts rolling, that means you can protect yourself from getting a customer to have three or four discount rules applied to their order that time. So that's what stop discount rule is all about. Apply discount before taxes. Yes, please. We don't want to discount money that we'll have to pay back. Now down here we have configuration. So this is for the discount on every product, how much is it going to be? Let's say that it's 10%. We have some extra conditions right here. These are optional, you don't have to use them, but I can turn it on and then say the shopper must spend at least X amount of dollars and or shopper must purchase at least this amount of products. Now I'm gonna leave that off. Down here are the categories. So this is where you choose the category that you want to have be applicable to this rule. Now in discount rules, in order to get the right product selected into your discount rule, we do encourage using ghost categories to make things easier for you without having to select individual products. Now if you don't know what a ghost category is, I need you to go and watch my Managing Categories video to learn what ghost categories are all about. Long story short is it's a ghost category that is invisible and you add products to it that actually originate from other categories. But I just want that group of products to be included in this discount rule. So I will select category. I've already prepped and created my ghost category. Let's go find it. Here it is. Choose. So I've selected the category. Let's close that. Only products that I've attached to this category will be applicable on this discount rule. And this category is hidden. No one can see it on my website. Now down here we do have some extra filters. This is if you'd like to attach a customer group. Now these are the customer groups that live in e-com, not the ones in your point of sale. So if you've created groups in the e-commerce and attached them to customers, you know, platinum, VIP, gold members, however you term that, you can have this be applicable to just a group of customers. Down here we have usage, so you can turn on a usage limit and say this discount rule can only be used X amount of times, which I won't turn on, which makes it infinity, unlimited. And then down here, 
And very interesting is you can set up a discount period rule. So if you turn this on, you can say it starts on Saturday and finishes on that same Sunday. So that was our first discount rule specifically for product categories. Let's save that. Okay, that was our first discount rule. Now let's just create a second one just to see the differences between them. Now we're going to call this rule number two. And what we did earlier was discount for product categories. Now as you can see again, they're, they're a little bit self-explanatory. Uh, what I'm going to do here is just do orders over X amount of dollars gets free shipping. So let's click on that. Save it. Okay, there's the name the type, let's enable it. All right, so we know what stop discount rule is, apply discount before taxes, verify minimum order after discount is applied. So this one is important. If we want the order to be X amount of dollars before the discount, we want to turn this on. Now here is where we tell the system, you know, after how many dollars spent, do we want the free shipping to kick in? Let's say a hundred bucks. Let's scroll down some more. Another usage filter, so you can turn this on and say this discount rule can only be used X amount of times, but I'll leave that off. Infinity. And then the dates. So I can say that this discount rule is only applicable over the weekend, maybe for the whole month of April. In my case, I'm going to leave it off. So if I scroll up to the top and hit save, let's just go take a look at the overview of all of the rules. Now this is the last thing I'd like to show you in this video, it's how to rearrange them. So anywhere where you see these three little lines, means you can pick things up and move them around. I've now set the priority of my discount rules and which one should come first. If they apply for this one and they're eligible for it, we won't apply the rules below. That's it for discount rules today. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day.